guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing one of my favorite videos to film besides monthly favorites, but it's a specific type of favorites. We, well, I am going to be sharing my current Amazon favorites. If you guys don't know, I love Amazon. I probably purchase one or two things a week from Amazon if it's not for myself, my family, my loved ones, or even my dog. So today I'm gonna be sharing maybe 10 to 15 items that I have been obsessed with and I have to share my fabulous finds with all my beauties. So if you guys would like to see what I'm loving currently from Amazon, please keep watching. Okay, so let's just jump right in. I feel like I have a lot to share. First and foremost, I want to share a product that has changed the game for me and is going to save me so much money in the future. This is my Tress Wellness At Home Waxing Kit. Now, I want to say that I have been going to get professionally waxed for probably a year now or maybe over a year, no, way over a year, almost two years now. And since getting waxed, I have been obsessed. Now, I'm also someone who doesn't like to spend a pretty penny. So I'm always looking for ways of doing kind of like my self care as far as hair, nails and waxing at home. I never thought I would be someone to wax at home, but this kit makes it so, so easy. I'm gonna include kind of a clip of how I wax my face So pretty much I've started doing my entire face. I mean, not like my cheeks and areas, but anywhere where I grow hair on my face, I have been waxing. I tried my underarm, <laughs> I was screaming. <laughs> and I have tried doing a bikini wax. I haven't successfully done the entire thing, but I'm getting there and like, I just feel like an esthetician. This waxing kit I wanna say is around $40 and it comes with, well, let me just show you. So it comes with everything you need to do your own wax at home. What I really appreciated was this Wax Like a Pro Quick Guide, which is really, really helpful because if you've never waxed yourself at home, you're probably thinking, not only is it going to hurt like hell, but it's going to be difficult, like what temperature do I set it at? How do I rip the hair? Which direction do I apply? How much pressure? All that is found within this guide. So this was super helpful. I would definitely say read the directions first because it does include some very helpful tips. You get latex gloves. Now I will be honest, I don't always use the gloves. I am OCD. So like if I'm laying in bed at night at like one or midnight and I feel a misplaced hair, I will get up right then and there and wax my face. So I don't always use the gloves. It comes with this little ring which you put around the ring of the wax holder bucket thing so that you don't get wax everywhere. It also comes with a bunch of hard wax. So as you can see, I've been using the peppermint, which I really like. So it comes with peppermint, lemon, eucalyptus, tea tree, which is really calming, and lavender. Now, I have only used it for smaller areas of my whole body overall, so I haven't yet gone through one package, but just based off of how much wax it has taken me, and I've probably used my kit maybe five times, this would probably last one full application to like half your body. It also depends on how big the area is. I haven't done my legs. This would probably be your entire legs. It also comes with waxing sticks, larger ones and smaller ones. So I've really been hooked with that waxing kit. Definitely check it out. I will link all these products down below. If I can find the Canadian links, I will link those as well, but I am hooked. Now I'm still currently going to the esthetician to get waxed because I have not conquered every area of my body, but it's something I want to work on. I just love being able to wax at home. Um, I've been using the green one as you can see and it's honestly so easy and there's nothing more satisfying than ripping off a piece of wax and seeing all the hair follicles in the wax. Um, I just love that I can do this at home and save so much money. Here's the temperature dial on the front. 
It's really simplistic, easy to use. You really can only mess up if you make your wax too hot and it burns your skin. But other than that, this is really, really easy and effective and I am hooked. And I think I wanna get licensed. Like this is just one step closer to me owning my own day spa, so shout out to me. The next item I've been loving is this ice roller and I did just take it out of the freezer so it is a little wet. This is basically an amped up version of your jade and your rose quartz rollers. But this is even better because it has stainless steel so it gets super, super cold and it holds the uh, temperature very well. I like to use this in the mornings when I'm waiting for my coffee to be brewed because I do keep it in my freezer. So I turn my espresso on and then I go to my freezer and I just go like this over my face it really helps to calm any irritation if you're breaking out and your face is really inflamed. This is awesome uh, if you want to shrink your pores before applying your skincare. This is amazing. It feels really good on your forehead. If you get headaches, this would be great. It's a lot larger than your rose quartz or your jade roller, so I do enjoy doing this in the mornings. And I have shared this on Instagram. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I've been loving this. And yeah, I just love having little things like this around the house to constantly remind me to take time out for myself. I'm always preaching this to you guys and those of you in my personal life, you matter. Most importantly, over everything. So I really enjoy using that in the morning. Let's keep with skincare. Next, my facial steamer. And if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you will know that I use this baby. I try to use it every Sunday. And if not, I use it one day during the week. This is the facial steamer that I got for Christmas. I'm obsessed, you guys. It puts out a really nice amount of steam. Now you can feel like you're suffocating and drowning. So don't get too, too close to it. But I really like this because when I'm doing my skincare Sunday, self-care routine. This really helps to open up my pores to allow for better absorption of all the products that I'm applying after using my steamer. If you are looking for just a little bit of peace and luxury and just something to make you feel like you went to the spa because I know for some of us we're still not doing things like that. This is amazing. I want to say it's about $40. I do feel like when I use a mask or any type of peel or any serum after using my skincare steamer I get better absorption and the products work a little better so definitely invest in a steamer if you guys feel like you can benefit from one I get so much use out of the steamer it is an essential keeping with skin the next product that I want to tell you guys about is my staple exfoliating mitt and this is from Zakia's Morocco and this is a Moroccan mitt I like to use this to exfoliate my entire body yes my entire body i've said this before if you shave wax epilate nair anything like that you should be exfoliating your skin i mean even if you don't even if you let all the hair on your body grow and everywhere whatever you should be exfoliating because it's great for your skin so i use this moroccan mitt on my entire body what i love about it more than anything is that it's gentle yet effective like when you wet this in the shower and use it on your arm you're going to see the skin peel up <laughs> on this mitt and you can of course wash it off i also love this because it's machine washable so this is sustainable and you guys know i have been all about products that are more sustainable because i'm trying trying to do my part when and where I can to be helpful in saving our planet uh, and I love that I don't have to repurchase anything. This little mitt and some water, baby when I tell you your skin will be smooth like a baby's butt. Exfoliating and then waxing, honey, if you haven't tried it, just try it. Like, okay, your man will thank you. This is amazing, okay, love that mitt. Uh, my next item is also for like skin and hair removal as well. I've talked about this in a few videos in the past. This is the Tend Skin Tend Skin Solution. This was recommended to me by one of my guy friends who we always talk about everything, skincare, beauty, fragrance, and everything like that. He recommended this to me because I was having a lot of ingrown hairs Ooh, maybe a year and a half ago and I was just like what do you use for ingrown hairs because his skin always looks amazing and he said he used this I went on Amazon and I purchased it I have not stopped purchasing it since if you deal with any ingrown hairs if you get like razor bumps but you don't shave this is perfect it has like citric acid 
isopropyl alcohol, a bunch of acid. It's very minimal in terms of ingredients and it feels like you're putting alcohol on your pores, but this will give you that smooth, smooth skin. So I would say you should exfoliate first, but if that's not enough and you feel like you still have like bumpy skin or you have razor bumps or you feel like the hair follicles are still trapped, definitely use this and use it after you remove the hair from that area. This is a godsend. Anything for like ingrown hairs that a man recommends I use because men tend to have thicker hair and this little baby is everything. Okay, next, more skincare. So if you guys watched my beauty haul for Christmas or winter, I'll link it down below, you would have seen that I purchased these Muji cotton squares. So traditionally, I love these Shiseido cotton squares. They are about 11 to $13. Sometimes I feel like they have price increases. They are really, really amazing. They don't leave any cotton left behind on your face, which is really important to me because I already hate using a toner day to day. So those are out of stock and I didn't want to try anything from the drugstore so I went on Amazon and these were highly recommended. These are actually a bit larger than the Shiseido squares and they're thicker. This is amazing. I think I got two packs for like the cost of one pack of Shiseido. So if you are a Shiseido cotton square user and lover, try these Muji cotton squares. Now these are the unbleached ones so they do have little specks of natural fibers in them. It doesn't irritate your eye area or anything like that. I use these every time I remove my makeup. I also use them with the 10 skin solution and I also use them with the pre and post waxing spray from my waxing kit. So I get a lot of use out of these Muji cotton squares. They're perfect. Nothing else to say. They're amazing. Okay, let's move on to another area of our face. Let's talk about teeth. So one of my friends was amazing and gifted me with a teeth whitening kit for Christmas and they actually do sell it on Amazon. It is called the Snow Teeth Whitener. And this is just the box. The actual uh, apparatus is in my bathroom. I didn't want to bring it in here because I didn't want to get water in anywhere but this is what the box looks like and this is what the actual device looks like. Now, the reason why I like the Snow Teeth Whitening System is because you use it in conjunction with your phone. You plug it into your phone, it uses the battery from your phone, and you leave it in your mouth on your teeth with one of the gels for about 30 minutes. Now, I do want to be honest, I have been getting inconsistent with using this. I would say if you are very consistent and use it nightly, you will get the best results. When I was using it really, really consistently, I saw an amazing transformation in the color of my teeth. I think I will do a video review on this. If you guys would like to see an in-depth review, let me know because I can start using it really consistently. Uh, life has just been very busy and so when I am tired at night, the last thing I'm thinking about is whitening my teeth. But when I was using it super consistently after Christmas, this worked really, really well. And it's also not as expensive as a lot of your other whitening systems. It doesn't give me any sensitivity. I love it, love it, love it. So definitely, if you're looking for a teeth whitening system, check out Snow. Okay, let's get back to skin because that's what I love most. The next item is something that I purchased after seeing the Chic Nurse Life on Instagram uh, talk about this. If you guys don't know, I have been dealing with a ton of maskne. Now, I already have problematic acne prone skin. I get acne every week just about in a normal year when we're not in a pandemic wearing a mask. So wearing a mask just further exacerbates all my acne. Um, specifically, I switched to a K9, KN95 mask a few weeks ago and I broke out all right here exactly where the mask sits. It's been really, really difficult, especially when you already battle problematic skin into your 30s. I mean, no one wants to be 30 still breaking out, if not worse than a teenager, like a teenager. So a lot of the problem with maskne is that I have a lot of clogged pores. I produce a lot of sebum, which is oil, and that oil gets trapped. When you're wearing a mask and that oil and dirt and bacteria is sitting on your face and the mask is rubbing it in, it's no wonder how maskne comes about. Now I am going to be making an entire video all about maskne because I know some people don't think it's real. A lot of people I know don't really deal with maskne, but those of us who have problematic skin, you know the struggle with maskne is so real. Getting one of these mask braces has really helped me keep the mask itself off of my skin. Now the one thing that really helps is wearing my slip 
silk face covering, which I will insert a picture of here. You guys know I worked with the Skin Store last year and they sent me that mask for promotion. I have been wearing it since then, with the exception of wearing my KN95. But as soon as I realized the KN95 was breaking me out, I switched back to my silk mask and I used this inside of it. Um, I've heard varying opinions on whether or not this should be used. I'm just doing the best I can. I'm not saying that this is not going to make your mask wearing effective, um, but I have heard people say that they work in healthcare and they don't recommend them. I'm not exposing myself unnecessarily to too many risks day to day, but I just had to find something to help prevent against maskiny. So this has been a savior and I will link that down below as well. Okay, let's get into some beauty items. My favorite beauty blender dupes. <laughs> These are the Beaky Makeup Sponges and this is the best dupe I have found for the beauty blender. So I first purchased these probably about one and a half to two years ago on Amazon because I hate buying the beauty blender. It's a $20 sponge. I purchased these on Amazon and I love them. Now I will say I recently purchased these maybe two months ago. They do feel a little less soft than the original ones I purchased, but I would say they're about 90% similar to the Beauty Blender. Definitely more soft than Real Techniques, Eco Tools, Sonia Kashuk, everything like that. This is the most identical sponge that I have found and I love that it comes in a pack of I think five or six for less than $10, which is perfect. So definitely, if you are sick with spending $20 on a beauty blender like I was, check these out. Okay, a hair product that I have been obsessed with. I'm just gonna post a picture in the screen because it's actually in my bathroom. It is the Cholesterol Super version, the Super Cholesterol. I started using that in my hair about two months ago. I just used it yesterday when I washed my hair. You guys can just tell how light and fluffy my hair is, but what you can't tell is how hydrated it feels. You guys know that last year I was dealing with a lot of breakage that caused me to cut my hair. I went to a new stylist and she put me on a DIY mask routine, which features the super cholesterol and it has been a godsend. My hair is thriving, it's not breaking off, it's not lacking moisture, it feels fabulous. I'll also link down below the video where I share um, how I make the DIY mask because it has the super cholesterol and a few other regular household ingredients that you'll probably have lying around. But that is how I have been able to rehab my hair because honey, she was struggling. I also have this fan. <laughs> you guys know like Amazon, you can buy everything on Amazon. So this favorites is all over the place. But if you're like myself and you live in a hot climate and you have to do your own hair or maybe you don't have to, I don't like going to the hair salon unless I have to. So I do my own hair, but it always makes me so hot. And I run very hot on my own. So honey, I can't sweat and then sweat out my hair while I'm doing my hair. So this little fan, is it Honeywell? No, yes it is. So this little Honeywell fan has really come in hand. It has a few different modes. It oscillates. This is perfect for when I am doing my hair. If it's really nicely in the bathroom, it doesn't take up a lot of space. If you're someone that needs a blast of cool air while you're doing your hair, ooh, that rhymes, this is for you. Another favorite, this is what I use for editing videos. These are my iJoy headphones. I'll be sure to link them down below. This is what they look like. I use these for editing videos. A friend told me that the best way to hear what the sound is gonna sound like is editing with headphones on, and it has changed the game. I'm able to really accurately hear all the sounds without any distraction of anything going on around me. So I picked these up maybe like three or so months ago, and I'm really, really enjoying these headphones. The only thing is that they don't have the best battery life, but I only use them to edit videos. I don't use them when I'm working working out because it would make my ear too hot. So if you're looking for an easier way to just hear all the levels correctly while editing videos or reels or TikToks or whatever, these have been super, super helpful. Okay, back to beauty for a moment. I always have to talk about my mirror. Ooh, I always talk about my mirror, you guys. This is a really, really large mirror that I purchased from Amazon. Maybe two or three years ago, I purchased it as a gift for other people. Buying a mirror for your vanity or your counter, whatever, is the hardest thing because mirrors are so expensive. This cost maybe 
$17 to $35 when I purchased it. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm not spending $50 for a mirror. I'm just not. So I really like this. The base screws off, which is really, really awesome because when the world was open and I would travel, I took this mirror with me. Yes, this mirror went out of the country and they had to take my luggage to the side and swab it, but I didn't care because I always tell women who are into makeup, when you are traveling, specifically staying with like your girlfriends or maybe your family, you don't wanna hog the bathroom. You know, you wanna be considerate. So having a mirror like this to put it up wherever you are in the home or the hotel really makes it nice. I love this mirror. It's very heavy, very sturdy, and it's cost effective, which I love. But as you can see, she is rather large. I just always have to mention this because finding a mirror can be really hard. Okay, the next item that I've been loving is my Japanese coloring book. And once again, if you follow me on Instagram, you know all about this. Let me see if I can show you guys one of the pictures that I finished if you guys can see. So coloring has been something that I enjoy doing for self-care as well. It's not always about um, putting my phone on DND or doing skincare. I like tapping into my creative side because I don't typically think of myself as being really creative, but coloring is a nice activity that I like doing sometimes in the evening just to wind down because you don't have to be like, using cognitive skills. You just let the creativity flow. It's very cathartic, I enjoy it. And this is a Japanese coloring book. You guys know that I am a quarter Japanese and so I just love coloring little Maneki Nekos and Japanese scenery. So I've really been enjoying coloring books. The next thing I wanna talk about is a pet feeder and I'm gonna insert a picture on the screen because I am not bringing it in here. But my friend actually got this for Chloe for Christmas and it's been amazing because if you're like myself, you don't always want to constantly have to go drop food in a container for your dog, specifically if you're very busy and you're doing other things and your dog is like mine and she will bark your head off until you feed her and sometimes likes to feed at six o'clock at night, at nine o'clock at night. like. It's it's just on her schedule. You can program it to dispense food whenever you would like to. And you can actually record your voice. So mine will say, you know, at whatever time, Chloe, come and eat. And she'll run to it and eat. And it's great because it holds probably like a little over a week's worth of food for her, or maybe two weeks. And I don't have to constantly empty the bag into a bowl every day. So I really like it. It's convenient. And it kind of gives my dog some autonomy. She doesn't always have to run to me to feed her. She has her own automatic feed. So that's been really nice. Also, my makeup storage that I'm currently using while I'm filming in the guest room. You guys know I'm currently redoing my beauty room. I have some of the items for that room now, but not all of them. So I can't wait to get back in that room and share with you guys everything that's happening. But while I'm redoing my room, I'm also redoing my vanity, which means getting rid of all the old makeup storage systems. So I went on to Amazon, of course, and purchased this new makeup system. Now this this is just one to hold a small portion of my makeup, but I think this will be great for the average woman or man who doesn't have a ton of makeup and wants something really nice and sleek that doesn't cost an arm and a leg because makeup storage tends to cost a lot of money and I just don't think that's necessary. So I will leave down below that link for the system that I have. It has little drawer pulls and I really enjoy that. So I don't know what I'm gonna get when my desk finally comes in because I'm using a desk for my new vanity. I don't know what I'll transition to then, but I probably still will keep this one just because it works so well. Okay, and the last thing I wanna talk about are candle warmers. So you guys know, last year I stopped burning my candles because Bath & Body Works candles just dissipate way too quickly. So for my Bath & Body Works candles, I bought candle warmers. I will pop two pictures on the screen. I have one in my room and then I have different candle warmers for the more centralized areas of my home because those stay on all the time. The one in my room actually does shut off. They don't give off that much scent throw I've found but if you want a scent to always be circulating in like let's say a bathroom a candle warmer is a nice alternative also because there's no open flame you don't have to worry about it burning down your house so if you are in the market for a candle warmer I'll be sure to link those down below and you guys 
I think we are done. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this very long Amazon favorites. I'm sorry, you guys. You all know I get to talking and I can't stop, but I love Amazon and I love shopping and I love sharing my fabulous finds with you all. So I hope this video was helpful. I love you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one and have a great, fabulous rest of your day. Bye, guys.